All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're doing graphing linear inequality. So we're gonna do one inequality today and then tomorrow you do a system. So you have two of them, okay? So all you do is graph it. And then because you have this inequality instead of equals, we gotta do a couple different things. So the first thing that I want you to know, let me find my pen, a pen, there it is is if you have a less than or a greater than, a less than or a greater than. Sorry, y'all. I do that all the time. Might be the first time I've done it with y'all, but I do it all the time. I apologize. Hold on, I forgot to turn on the board for them. So you gotta wait on that to get up. Sorry, y'all. All right, you ready? All right, so if you have a less than or a greater than, it's gonna be a dashed line. That just means you break it. So you don't have to worry about drawing a straight line. If it's equal to, it's gonna be a solid line, okay? So if it has a line, it is a line. If it doesn't, does not. And then we're also going to have shade because when we have less than or equal to, it's a lot or less than or greater than. We have a lot of values that fit into that. So we're just going to shade the whole area of the graph that includes those. So when we look at this very first one. We're going to graph it like normal, just like if I had y equals negative one fourth x plus two. So if I had something like this, I would start at two. Don't connect your dots yet. So I'd start at two and then it says my slope or my rise over one is down one and over four. I can't go any more that way, but I can go completely opposite the other way. And then since there's not a line, we just make it dash. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect or anything like that, but just dash it. All right, so then how do you tell where you shade? So it's either going to be this side of the line that you shade or it's going to be this line. The way we do that is we write our equation. Negative one fourth x plus two. And then we plug in a point and if it's true, you shade the side of the line that has that point. The easiest point on the graph is which one? What's your easiest coordinate on your graph, Devon? An actual coordinate. No. What is it? a coordinate, guys? What? Yeah, point. What's your easiest point on the graph, Devon? Zero, zero. Yeah, the middle. Zero, zero. I wasn't asking a hard question. It wasn't silly. It was just serious. So that's the one that I always pick. The only time you can't pick zero, zero is if the line goes through it. Then you just pick a different point. But I always pick zero, zero because it's super easy to work with. Okay. So zero, negative one fourth times zero plus two. So I always plug in zero, zero unless the line goes through it. And then the left side is good, zero is less than. Negative one fourth times zero cancels out, so you're just left with two. Is this a true statement or a false statement? Is zero less than two? Yes, so if it's true, you're gonna shade the side with zero, zero. That's it. And that's all you that's all you got to do okay so look at your next one where does it start it starts at three and then our slope we can make a fraction by doing three over one so we go up three and right one we can't go anymore on the graph so i'm going to go completely opposite down three and left one so that's normal nothing changes about that we've been doing that since a long time ago then you have to ask yourself, is it solid or dashed? 
So does it have an equal? So this one is dashed. And again, that's because it's not equal. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll connect two dots, connect two dots, and then do that to make it dashed. So that way it looks a little bit better. It does not go through zero, zero, so I can plug in zero, zero. So I'm gonna rewrite my equation or inequality over here. I'm gonna plug in zero, zero. I also won't get those numbers confused. So I would suggest that you plug in like two, two, three, three, four, four, so you don't mix them up, okay? You can't mess it up, all right? Oh, I've got to start being on time. Guys, our Zoom starts at 10, 15. You've got to start being on time. Three times zero cancels itself out. So we're left with zero is less than three. Is that true? It, yes. So we shade zero, zero. So whatever side zero, zero is on is the side we shade. What if it's straight down the middle? Just pick a new point. You can pick any point that you want, period. Well, what is it? So if I would have picked, so let me give you an example. Let's say that I picked this point right here, negative three, three. Y is three, negative three plus three. Okay, so I plugged in that coordinate. I get three is less than negative nine plus three. Three is less than negative six. That's false. So I don't shade that side. It doesn't matter what coordinate you put in, you put in at all. Mm -hmm. When it's false, shade the opposite side. Okay. And we'll probably get to one of those in just a minute. Okay. They won't all stay true. All right. Where does this one start? What kind of three? Negative. Yep, negative three. It goes up one and over five or down one and over five. Is it solid or dashed? Does it have equal? It's dashed because it doesn't have a line. Again, if it is a line, draw a line. So we're gonna dash this one. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, nothing crazy. I just gotta be able to tell that it's dashed, okay? It does not go through zero, zero, so we're going to use zero, zero. The one fifth, sorry, this should be a zero. One fifth zero cancels out and we get zero is less than negative three. Is that the truth? No, this one is false. So don't shade. Do shade the dot. Uh -huh. So you shade the part that does not have zero, zero. Perfect. All right, the next one, where do I start in? Five. What kind of five? Negative. Negative five. When it's a whole number, to make it a fraction, put the one underneath it. So this says go down five and write one, but I can't do that. So I'm going to go up five and the left one a couple times. So it looks like this. This one is also dashed because it is not equal to. So again, do the best you can. It's not a huge deal. And then you want to plug in zero, zero. When we clean it up, the zero is fine. Greater than, this will cancel out, negative five. Is zero greater than negative five? Yes. So shade zero, zero, which will be this side. Any questions on these four? Everybody okay? Okay.
We only have six more. We have two more easy ones and then a couple of harder ones. All right, look at number five. Where do I start? That one. Change this to a fraction. I move by going up three and over one or down three and over one. Oh, hold on, I messed that up. Because I can't count today. There you go. That's what it should be up here. All right. Not equal to, so it's dashed. It does not go through zero, zero, so we can use zero, zero. So I'm going to rewrite it. Plug in the zero. Three times zero cancels out. Is zero greater than one? Is zero greater than one? Nope. So don't shade zero, zero. So just to remind you about number six, it just has a four. So remember if it's y equals a number, that's a horizontal line. That means it goes this way. If it's x equals a number, it's a vertical line, which means it goes this way. So we have y is less than four, but be careful doing this one. It's gonna be dash, so I wait until I know what it's gonna be. And then it's a horizontal dash line on four. So it looks like this. We plug in zero, zero. We don't have an X to plug into, but we have a Y, so it'll still work. Is zero less than four? So we shade zero, zero. So it still works the same way. It's just a horizontal line. Vertical will work the same way as well. Okay. Remember if it cuts through zero, zero, you just pick a different number. Any questions one through six? They're all pretty easy, okay? They're not too bad. What's different about these seven and eight? The other ones had X's too. Five had an X. This one had a one. That's exactly what I want. It's flipped around. It's not in the right order, right? It's supposed to be Y equals. So we have to get it in Y equals. Don't forget your step. We've been doing this for weeks and weeks. Move X, divide by the number with Y. Divide by the number with Y. So divide by the Y number. All right, so I'm gonna do this at the bottom. So we have X plus four Y is less than 12. How do I move this X out of the way? How do I get this X on the other side? Subtract it, very good. That's okay, it's okay. It's always add or subtract. So if you wanna put that up there, it's either gonna be add or subtract. So we get four Y less than, put your X first, a negative X and a positive 12. And then your last step is divide everything by that number with Y. So divide, divide, divide. And because we divided by a positive, nothing happens on the next one, we'll divide by a negative, And that means you have to flip that inequality sign. Again, we've already done that this year, solving inequalities. So this will be y is less than, what's the number with x when there's not one? One. So this one's negative one fourth x 
and then 12 divided by four is three. So this is the equation that you're gonna graph on your graph. Where do I start? At the three. And I move down one and over four or up one and left four. Is it solid or dash? Dash. So again, do the best you can. It's not gotta be perfect, it's fine. And then it didn't go through zero, zero. So I'm gonna plug in zero, zero. So zero is less than negative one fourth times zero plus three. This doesn't count. We have zero less than three. Is that true or false? True, so what do we do? Mm -hmm. Shade zero, zero below the line, perfect. We're gonna do the same thing on the next one. We have X minus four Y greater than or equal to negative four. I need it to get into y equals. So remember our steps from up here, move x by either adding or subtracting and then divide by y. So how do I move this positive x? Come on guys, how do I move positive x? Thank you. Very good. Make sure you bring all of this down. So you gotta bring that negative with it negative x and a negative four. We need to get rid of that negative four. So we divide by negative four, divide everything by negative four. Now remember when you work with the inequalities, if you divide or multiply by a negative, you gotta flip the inequality sign. So right here, we divided by a negative. So it's gonna to change to y less than or equal to. You flip that inequality sign. A negative over a negative makes a positive. Remember there's a one with the x, so one fourth x. Negative over a negative makes a positive. Four divided by four is one. So there's your equation. Where do we start? Start what? Uh -huh, one, how do I move? Up one and over four or down one and over four. The question is, is it solid or dashed? Does it have a line? Yeah, then draw a line. So this one is solid. All right, how do I tell where I shade? How do I tell where I shade? What have I been doing the whole time? Plug in zero and zero. So zero is less than or equal to one fourth times zero plus one. One fourth times zero is zero, it doesn't count. Plus one is zero less than or equal to one. Yes, so we shade the zero zero side. So it's just a little more work. Any questions? All right. Nine and 10 are exactly the same way. Those are the last two that we're gonna do. All right. So I have six X plus Y is greater than or equal to negative three. Pardon the interruption, but the registration team is ready for last names D and E. Any student ninth 
through 11th grade, D and E. Please report to the knowledge area. First thing that you're going to do is move X. So I'm going to subtract 6X. I get Y is greater than or equal to. Put your X first, negative 6X, and a negative 3. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Natalie, you're going home. All right, sorry, we don't have a number with Y, so we're good to go as is. We're going to start at negative 3. And then we make this a fraction. We're going to go down 6, but we can't really do that and move over 1. So I'm going to go up 6 and over 1. And those are the only two points that will fit on the graph. We have a line. So we draw a line. It does not go through zero, zero, so we're going to plug that in. So we get zero is greater than or equal to negative six times zero minus three. And the negative six times zero doesn't matter. So we see is zero greater than or equal to negative three. Zero is not bigger than negative three. Yeah, it is. So shade the side with zero, zero. And then the last one. You're going to move your X. So we're going to subtract 7X. Bring down all of your negative 5y. Less than or equal to negative 7x goes first. And then minus 15. Divide by negative 5. Remember when we divide by a negative, we flip the inequality sign, so it's going to change around to greater than or equal to. Your 5s can't slide out, you're left with a y. Negative over a negative makes a positive. 7 over 5 will not reduce. Negative 15 over negative 5 is a positive 3. Graph your equation. We're going to start at 3. We cannot go up 7 and over 5, so we're going to go down 7 and over 5. And because it has a line, it's going to be solid. It does not go through zero, zero, so that's what we're going to plug in. And the seven fifths times zero doesn't matter. Is zero greater than or equal to three? Is zero greater than three? No. So this is false, so don't shade zero, zero. Any questions? All right, so I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. All right. And then I'm going to open Desmos, and you guys can do that too. That's fine. I just want to show you one of the last couple that we did. So you can do this on Desmos. You just have to type it in. The last one we did was 7x minus 5y. This is the one that we just did. You'll have to go down to the keyboard to get the less than or equal to, and then negative 15. And it will graph it for you. And you can see that the line is solid and it's shaded above like we did. That's it. You can. See, you'd have to do what I showed you on the inactive part. But on the calculator active, you can just type it in. And this is the same calculator you get on your final exam. That's what 
I know, I know. If we go back to one that has a dashed line, regular calculators won't show you that. So we had one like this, x plus 4y is less than 12. And you'll see that it makes a dashed line for you. So what I suggest is on your quiz today that you use Desmos, knock that out really quick. Uh, if you have anything missing, you need to get that done today. I'm not taking anything late after today. Is everybody good? All right. So if you have any makeup tests or anything like that, you need to get those done. I'm done with that today. I've got, I've got to get grades in and I've waited so long. So make sure you get it done today. I'm going to stop recording.